Hey guys, this morning I am replacing a condenser. This fellow right here that I diagnosed about a week ago, and I'll put a link up there. So stay tuned. Here it comes. It looks like this is going to be nearly the same size as the other one. So these hookups will probably work fine. The um, customer does not want me to replace the pad. And he don't want me to dispose of this. So um, I know he's trying to save money. I would like to replace the pad, but he don't want me to. So we're fixing to recover this and get started oh, all right now I just have to cut this loose and uh, deal that one out of the way and we'll be good this one's gonna have a very similar hookup Actually, this is going to be a little bit closer to the ground. But this is going to be real easy. It's one carrier product for another. Had to make sure that's a three ton, and it is. I was gonna show you, this comes with a piston on the inside. You gotta make sure your Teflon seal is right there. And your piston is still in there. Because that piston is the metering device when it runs in heat. This does not have to be terribly tight. It's a Teflon seal.
All right, I think that is tight enough. I'm going to pull these caps off and do what I can to protect these right here, keep them cool. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and pull these shredders out. It's easy to get them too hot and they can cause a leak. just prepping everything so I can piece everything together and then we're going to flow some nitrogen get this soldered up y'all can see that but that is just steady dripping out
I'm letting this over here cool off a little bit. tips a little bit warm oh yeah we're doing good just got to do these two joints right here Solid. And that looks solid. Not seeing any bubbles. And I'm holding at 147. I'm going to let that hold. Okay, we're still at the same pressure. I am fixing to. Whew. We're fixing to start pulling a vacuum. All right, we got that started. We got this opened up. This one closed off and I'm fixing to open this up. So I can start reading the vacuum. I'm already down into microns. So I'm gonna close this off. We're doing good. I've got to insulate all this up and finish wiring and then I can turn the thing on. I've only been running for a short time and I'm down to 459 microns. Okay, we are almost done with this. This customer was clearly on a budget. He wanted me to reuse the pad and not do anything that I didn't absolutely have to do. So I reused 
the power wire and the whip and uh i got this all insulated i'm almost down to 400 microns so when i get down to 400 i'm probably gonna watch it valve it off and watch it for a little while and then we're going to cut the free on loose I'm under 400, so valve that off, valve that off, and watch it for a little while. <coughs> All right, we are. That held under 500 for five minutes, so I couldn't get it much below 400 though. just have to turn it on and check charge. We have everything ready to turn it on. So let's go inside. Let's see how we're doing. Well, that's always a nice sound to hear. I gotta check super heat and sub cooling real quick. I got low sub cooling, kind of normal super heat. This line set ain't but about 15 feet. And if I'm not mistaken, we have a piston up top. I'm prepared to charge, but I need to let it run for just a little bit. Y'all see my superheat is dropping. Those pressures are stabilizing around 129. I'm watching this suction line temperature right here. Okay, I'm not sure how much y'all can see. I have a superheat of about 9.5. Suction line temperature of 55. And if you're old school, that is beer can cold. Or close to it. So I only had to add just a few ounces. I'm fixing to button this thing up and we're going to be out of here. All right, we're done with that one. I tell you, when you have a job like that, it's really nice to have a hand truck, a strap, and a trailer. Too many times in the past I've been sent to do jobs like that with a condenser packed in the back of my van and no hand truck, nothing. So... 
be prepared. It'll save your back. That customer really needed to save as much money as he could. And I can understand that. I've been there, so I tried to help him. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Bye.